the floodwaters used to come down Charleston Boulevard like a big river. I mean, huge river. And it cut over on 15th Street, down Lewis, and down 17th Street. And we just happened to live on the high side of the street. And uh, so the kids were all playing across the street. When the floodwaters came down, they all climbed the tree. So I said, well, how do I get them out of the tree? So I called the telephone company. And believe it or not, the telephone company at that time was party lines. So everybody knew what you were doing, except we had a private line because he was with the school district. And so I called the telephone company, and they came down and got the kids out of the tree. But then I had them all in my backyard. We finally have flood control now, but it was pretty serious stuff. And uh, a lot of people up at this end of town had built different areas for it to come through. But we haven't had one of those big storms like that where you just have a big river of water coming down into the valley because there's a lot of new building that's been going on and people taking putting in flood control projects along the way, which we insisted that they do. And so now, but as I said, when you look at how the wastewater and the floodwaters go back out to the lake at this time, and just a couple of weeks ago, I visited that site where they reprocess the water. And it's amazing what they have accomplished to clean up the water, the wastewater, that goes back into the lake. And so it's really a big process. The Southern Nevada, I'm still on that board, the Southern Nevada Water Authority Advisory Board, which is very interesting because our water issues are very critical. We get a sliver of that water. And uh, I certainly hope that we can manage that, but looking at the water coming down eastern Nevada, of course my suggestion was that we build the pipeline to the ocean and use the desalination plants. There's one at Santa Barbara and one at Yuma, Arizona. Might have been more lasting water because some of the people that have the wells that were purchased by the water district they claim that they would be running dry and they would not recharge. But then I suggested maybe the Columbia River, and but the Columbia River, the Hanford, Washington, runs into that, and that's contaminated by nuclear waste. 